guys. Hi guys. <laughs> okay. to We are here to tackle about the Eric Erickson social, psychosocial development theory by Eric Erickson. Erickson's theory of psychosocial development identifies eight stages which a healthy individual should pass through from birth to death. At each stage, we encounter different needs, ask new questions, and meet people who influence our behavior and learning. First stage ng psychosocial ni Eric Erickson ay infancy. Ano naman yung mas ano naman ang masasabi mo about sa first stage ng psychosocial? So about the first stage of psychosocial development from of infancy from birth to eight months, then the virtues of psychosocial strength is hope. Yung hope ay yung pag-asa, then yung psychosocial uh, basic, basic conflict is trust and mistrust. So, ang masasabi natin pag trust ay yung trust ng bata sa mother at yung mistrust ay yung hindi pag uh, uh, sunod, sunod, sunod. Ng, ng, ng mother sa anak kung ano yung Sina. need nila. So, ang significant relationship nito ay yung, yung mother. So, at meron din yung environmental influence which is the maternal. So, the existen existential question is, can I trust you? Kung paano niya i-trust yung mother sa pag-aaruga sa kanya? So, for example is feeding abandonment. So, the uh, uh, outcome of this stage is the, the children develop a sense of trust. So, yun yung first stage. Mm, may experience ka na ba? Um, nung pagkabata, hindi ko lang alam <laughs> sa mother ko. Basta ang pagkakaalam ko, he take good care. She? She. She, <laughs> she take good care. So, how about, about you, Isai? Ano yung masasabi mo tungkol sa second stage? Um, second stage is about early childhood. Um, Two to three years, ganon de ba yung mga yung age ng ano early childhood. Oh. So yung virtue social strength niya ay willpower. Yung pagka free free ng isang bata sa gusto niya o oh, na dapat ipa ano ng ma, anong parents ganon yung may freedom siya na ginagawa uh, ng bata dapat yung parents bigyan ng free 
Ganon ba yung ano yung stage na yun? Yes. Yun yung pagkakaalam ko yung uh, second stage. Dapat i ano yung mga magulang, yung parents, yung mga bata nagawin kung ano nil, anong yung gusto nila para ma-experience kung ano yung mm -hmm. tama at yung mali. So example ng early childhood toilet training, clo clothing de clothing themselves yung free nilang mag CR ganon magsuot ng gusto nila ganon so bigyan natin ng freedom yung mga bata para mm. ma-experience kung ano yung gusto nila then we have to uh, assist lang yung mga gusto nila yung needs ng mga bata mm. so ang third stage ng early ay ano ang third stage ng Ni Eric Erickson ay preschool, 2 to 3, 2 to 5, 3 to 5 years old. <laughs> ano ba yun? 3 to 5 mm, years, years old, old yung stage at yung age ng bata nung third development of Eric Erickson. So the purpose, uh, the virtues of psychosocial, uh, the strength of this third stage is purpose. Then the psychosocial crisis, basic conflict is initiative and guilt. Meron na yung initiative nung bata at meron na rin yung guilt. So, the significant relationship of this is the family. Kailangan yung family umaaro, uma at ano yun? Yung... Siya yung mag-aalalay, mag manggagay. Oh, manggagay sa mga bata at this stage. So, the influential environmental of this is the parents, family, and of course, yung mga kaibigan or friends. So, may mga questions din nila. Is it okay for me to, to do, move, and act? Yun na, yun na yung sinasabi nila na dapat i-guide yung bata kung may initiative na or yung initiative versus guilt na yung sinasabi natin dito. So, yung mga examples nito ay yung using tools for making art. Ayun yung mga gumagawa ng mga paintings, inaalalayan natin yung paggawa ng mga bata, yun yung uh, kailangan i-develop nung bata. Paano naman kung mararamdaman nila yung guilt? Paano nila iyon mararamdaman? So, kunwari yung, yung guilt na sinasabi nila kung uh, may mga yung mga family or friends uh, parang ano na yun yung na napagalitan oh, oh, yung napagalitan sa harap, ng... sa harap ng mga ah. uh, mga tao napahiya yun yung mga napahiya yung sinasabi lang na mayroon nang yung guilt nung bata kaya ayun nag parang hindi na lang nila, nila gustong gusto gawin yung mga gusto Gin, nilang gawin, gawin. Ano nga? Yung gawin nila. <laughs> yung gusto nila gawin. gawin. <laughs> so, ang fourth stage ni Eric Erickson is school age. Um, 5 to 11 years old. So, ito yung, yung ano niya. Yung strength niya is competence. Meron na yung sinasabi na na competence. Yung magkikokompete sa mga... Hmm sa mga activities, activities ng mga, school, yeah, ayun na yung sinasabi nila. So, ang psychosocial crisis basic conflict niya ay industry industry versus inferiority. So, ang significant relationship niya is neighbors or school. Oh, at yung influence niya is school. Ito na yung sinasabi nila na yung school o yung ginagawa nila sa school, they develop na nila yung mga skills, skills. nila kung ewan ko na to an, para naman ma oh, ma-develop yung skills nila at pwede na, na rin itong for the word compe, compe, competence, pwede na siyang maging competitive, ganun ba? yeah, at yung question nila can I make it in the world of people mm -hmm. and things. Ayun yung sinasabi na yung meron din mga examples nito yung mga school sports, yung mga activities mm -hmm. tungkol sa sports. So may we have our friend Agatha. Agatha. Hi Agatha. To tackle about the rest of Eric Erickson's eight stages. So, bye! bye. So, ayan guys, na-discuss na ni Ma'am Isa at Sir Harold yung four stages. 
nah infancy, early childhood, preschool, at school age. Kung ngayon, ako naman yung mag-discuss ng adolescence, young adulthood, middle adulthood, tsaka maturity. Ang adolescence is yung tinatawag natin teenage years. Diba? Yung 12 to 18 years old. Ito yung um, transition mo from childhood to early adulthood, which is yung pinaka-complicated na stage na buhay ng isang tao. Kasi, ito yung years na high school years. Yung pinaka-enjoyable na years ng buhay natin, di ba? Yung mga barkabarkada, mga crush-crush, tsaka yung first boyfriend, maybe. Pero ito rin yung pinaka-delikado yung stage ng buhay ng isang tao. Kasi dito yung pinakamalakas yung hatak ng peer pressure. Dito tayo nahuhubog kung nabarakada ka sa mga matatalino. Maaaring maging matalino ka rin in the future when you're interested in learning a lot of lessons maybe. At saka yung iba, kung dati, parang weird-weird sila ng elementary. Tapos nung high school, napasama sa mga um, bad influence. Yung mga mahilig kuminom, yung karilyo, and yun, pinipilit ka nilang gawin rin, gawin rin yung ginagawa nila. Kasi kung hindi mo gagawin yun, parang hindi ka bilong. Diba? Eh, pero ang conflict nito, nasa sa'yo na kung susundin mo ba sila or mas iniisip mo yung sarili mo na mabuti ba silang influensya para sa akin na magiging ano ba yun? Um, good role model ba ako pag sila yung kasama ko oh, mga ganun ano mga ganun paniniwala kasi yung adolescence na 12 to 18 years ay um, the teen needs to develop a sense of self and personal identity success leads to an ability to stay true to yourself while failure leads to role confusion and weak sense of self so yung mga iba na kilala ko na magagaling na elementary tapos nung high school parang napariwara na kasi mas, mas sumasama na sila sa barkada fun fun ganun. tsaka lakotsa walwal pero may iba naman na ano na parang walang hindi magaling sa academics na elementary pero nung nag high school napabarkada sa mga um, competitive ng students yung mga magaling sa ano, academics kaya parang kahit hindi magaling nung elementary parang na na develop yung ano pag-iisip niya kaya parang may iba yung identity niya so yun yung point ng stage na to okay next young adulthood 18 19 to 40 ito yung parang ginagawa mo na yung mga dreams mo sa buhay yung mga childhood dreams lang noon pero tinaturn up mo as dyan na yung parang tinupad mo na pero hindi naman lahat ng mga dreams na yun natutupad kasi dahil dun sa early stage na adolescence kung once na hindi ka na nagsasess dun at hindi mo na sigurado yung tunay mong identity eh dito sa stage na to yung adulthood 19 to 40 years marami yung mga early 20s na hinahanap pa rin yung sarili nila 
what I mean is hinahanap pa rin nila yung passion nila. For example, ako. Nung high school ako, gusto ko maging bank teller, ganun. At saka pharmacy. Pharmacies. Pero nung nag-college na ako, parang mas naisip ko yung practical na lang na na course, which is computer science. Ngayon, graduate naman ako. Pero, iba pa rin yung self-fulfillment na sana yung and, yung pharmacies na lang yung pinuso ko. Tsaka malay mo, para mas na rin ako ngayon. Pero unfortunately, hindi nangyari yun. Kaya, napaka-importante ng, ng adolescent stage. Kasi itong yung adulthood parang, sige, go with the flow na lang, di ba? Parang ako, uh, I want to fulfill another career, pero parang wag na lang kasi sa akin na naman yung oras, di ba? Kumikita ka naman, I graduated class 2015 and for 3 years, I'm now working as a boss clerk. Pero, parang nabubor minsan. But, it pays. And it pays the bills. So, <laughs> parang, sige na lang. Carry na lang yun. So, ayan. Back to the topic. Young adulthood. 19 to 40 years. The virtuous cycle social strength is love. And ang um, psychosocial crisis basic conflict dito is intimacy versus isolation. So, ito na yung stages na financially stable ka na. You have a good career, but you have only few friends and walang love life. Yung mga ganong conflict. At yung mga iba naman, may love life. Pero, financially stable. So, yan. Um, environmental influence ng stage na to is spouse, lover, or friends. And young adult, adults need to form intimate, loving relationships with other people. Success leads to strong relationships while fairy, failure results in loneliness and isolation. Hmm. Sa stage na to, tulad ng mga batch ko, um, in their early 20s, tulad namin 28 years old, marami na yung ano, yung marami na yung family na, may asawa na, may karin na din, pero hindi masyadong hindi, hindi masyadong kumikita. Parang sakto lang. Sakto lang sa simpleng buhay na kakain ka ng tatong beses sa isang araw. At marami din dito yung stage na very successful sila in the fulfillment of the heart and gusto niya. Or, they don't have someone to spend their life with and magkaiba yung ganang happiness. So, iba rin kasi yung um, yung happiness ng dalawang yun. Yung career. Tsaka lo. So, ayan. Next stage is middle adulthood, which is 40 to 65 years. Oh, 40. Life begins at 40, sabi nila. At ang basic conflict nito is generativity versus stagnation. Um, significant relationship is household and workmates. 
environmental influence, family, and society. So, ito na yung adult adult na yung may mga anak na yung anak na graduate na sa college may ako na yung papa ko 40 40 48 na siya and 3 years ago uh, we lost our mom was year 2015 so si papa at that time he was 45 my mom died at 49 years of age so parang ang bata pa lang pa eh yung mga ganong age parang marami ka pang pwedeng gawin so Ang pap ko, <laughs> siyempre, masakit yun para sa kanya. Diba? Namawalan na isang katawang sa buhay. At uh, iniisip din niya na kailangan niya ng makakasama sa buhay. Kasi pag mag-aasawa na kami, eh, parang walang magalang sa kanya. So ayun. Mm, nagkaroon siya ng girlfriend which is kasinay ng mama ko so parang wala nang iba parang hindi na lang hindi na masyado yung adjustment pero kami parang nagkihirap sa umi but eventually um, na naintindihan namin yung side ni Papa na he need someone to look after him even though nandito naman kami na mga anak niya pero iba pa rin yung yung parang batch yun so ayun so the last stage is maturity which is 65 years to death ito na yung lola age Ito na yung sinasabi nilang pinigsang matatanda kasi marami na silang pinagdaanan pero yung mga milig niya sinasabi na hindi naman palagi tama yung mga matatanda at hindi parang marami yung mga matatanda na parang para sa kanila wala nang sensu yung mga kabataan na yung mga ganda catches so ayan uh, basic conflict ng maturity is integrity versus despair significant relationship mankind my kind environmental influence all humans so outcome ng stage na to is all older adults need to look back on life and feel a sense of fulfillment success at the stage leads to feelings of wisdom while failure results in regret bitterness and despair so ito meron yung mga matatandang happy go lucky meron yung mga iba rin na parang KJ KJ, yung mga palagi na lang galit, parang galit sa mundo, ganun. And, sinasabi ng stage na to na yung ganitong age, full of wisdom ka na. At kung na-fulfill mo na yung lahat ng gusto mo sa buhay, parang pwede ka nang mamatay. <laughs> Mayroon naman yung mga iba na parang gusto pa nilang mabuhay para mag-contribute ng good deeds o gusto pa nilang makita yung 
ma- makasama yung family nila for a long, long time. Meron naman yung mga iba na hindi nila na-fulfill yung hindi nila parang they don't lead, live, live their life to the fullest. Kaya parang marami silang regret. Yun yung mga matatanda na parang galit all time at saka napakistrito at saka yun yung mga matatanda they don't feel loved kasi yung sarili nila hindi rin nila mahal parang ganyan na they reflect on their life and parang they did not want the outcome of their life. So, they're left later. <laughs> Ayan. So, we're all done with the stages, guys. Eight stages of Eric Erickson's psychosocial development. That would be all. Bye!